15 minute entry. There's your snake pattern, but the price is at the 15 minute box. You obviously want to see a 15 minute chart with a higher high on it and grail one pointing up. Again, clear lanes, I just put one on these uh, 15 pips or so. Pips to one minute box, again, at least five pips to the one minute box. You want to see that. Sometimes the head of the snake won't be leading on this because the 15 minute box sometimes will be, you know, a lot lower, you know, I mean, and, and the, the move down to it pulls the one minute box. So sometimes the head of the snake won't totally be leading on this type of trade. But the key is that, you know, it started as a trend, it pulled back. Your five minute boxes definitely need to be above. Notice this other setting, trend 15 L7 entry. I've got it set to false. You may want to require an L7 in the entry somewhere. It could either be the one minute L7, which is this one here. And that remember, it's, it's according to the levels range. So if it's set 46, then the L7 needs to be at 48 or 44 in between that. Or a five minute one can be there too. So it's, it's, it's either one. Now it, it, it won't look for a 60 or a 15. Those it won't, will not look for. It'll only look for a one and a five. The 60 is not as accurate to to rely on, I don't think, for, it's a good level, you know, but they don't bounce precisely like the 1 and 5 levels do. So, you know, it's really to assist in getting an accurate, precise bounce. So it'll look for a 1 and 5 minute L7 if you set this setting to true. It's a smart thing. I mean, it scans the grids. It knows where every level is on the grid. That is a 15 minute trend trade. It's not a lot of settings. Are you guys understanding the settings for the trends? Because we're about ready to get into the bounce trade.